All right, so I'm going to be unboxing the Regal 2102 scope. Um, just a quick unboxing video to see what's in the box. Just received this today, so I'm kind of jazzed about it. Okay, when we get the box open, inside the box that was used for shipping, we find another box. We don't need that one anymore. This is kind of like one of those birthday presents. We wrap and wrap and wrap. All right, we'll open this one. And on opening it, we find inside lots of fun stuff. So, the peripherals it comes with, it comes with a power cord. This one is a North American power cord. That's good because I live in North America. We have our manuals, instructions, as well as a CD, uh, which I'm assuming has the uh, scope software on it. There's a USB uh, A to B cable. There's one probe, RP3300, which should be a 100 megahertz passive oscilloscope probe. And its partner, of course. Okay, all in all, the packaging is quite well done. Um, everything seems to be really sturdy, the boxes that are used, which you would expect. And it's all encased in foam to reduce the vibration effects. And here is our scope. The obligatory silica gel. Okay, let's box out of the way. Brand new scope. And there you have it, that's what's in the box. One scope, this is the DS2102, so everyone can see. Two. 100 megahertz passive probes. And they have all the, uh, the rings to change colors. They have a clip on. And they don't seem to have too many other pieces for the probe tips. So if you wanted to do uh, some fancy stuff like some surface mount probing, they don't have the little plastic um, connectors for it. The USB cable. It, um, looks like reasonable quality. The manuals, which we'll open now. They're the last thing that came. So they give you a contents list. All included and a quick guide presumably on the CD there is all the manuals and all the software and that's it that's the unboxing of the DS 2102 oscilloscope all right let's just take a little closer look at the scope itself 
Uh, you can see that nice, gorgeous, big, huge screen that's there. We'll see how well that works a little later. Uh, our controls, channel one, channel two, trigger, a horizontal. It's all laid out quite nicely on here. I'm not nuts about this little wheel up top. It is, uh, it's a dual. So you've got a direction and then you've got like a encoder wheel. But the encoder wheel is not easy to grab. If it was extended a little bit more, uh, that would be nice. All the buttons they use, or all the, the knobs they use are buttons also. I don't know how many of them are functional. Other reviews said not all of them. Uh, they got standard BNCs, 